the, the Hunga Tonga volcano is cracking open the earth. Last year, the world witnessed what it can proudly call one of the greatest ever volcanic eruptions. In the roller coaster of events, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai volcano in the Pacific erupted in January with such a force that water vapor was sent into space for the first time ever by an earthly volcano. It did not only leave scientists in awe, it left the whole world in dire amazement. How was it even possible sending waves right into space? That was an absolutely incredible record breaker of an eruption. There are lots of other facts you need to know about this eruption, and of course, watch this video to the end and you get all of them. Lightning in the cataclysmic Tonga volcano eruption shattered all records. In January 2022, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai volcano erupted in an extraordinary way, shocking the whole globe. Not only did it cause massive tsunami waves, but it also released a significant quantity of water vapor into the stratosphere that warmed the planet's temperature. In a recent investigation, experts revealed something else. In only five minutes, the eruption sparked more than 25,500 lightning strikes. The volcano produced approximately 400,000 lightning strikes in only six hours. At the height of the eruption, this volcano hosted half of the world's lightning strikes. According to the report from Vaisala, an environmental monitoring organization that monitors lightning throughout the globe, the cataclysmic eruption obliterated all records. According to Chris Vargaski, a meteorologist and lightning specialist at Vaisala, it's the most intense concentration of lightning that we've ever observed. This is definitely an exceptional event, and we've been seeing lightning for 40 years, said one researcher. Lightning images taken every minute above the Tonga volcano eruption on January 15, during the height of the eruption, the lightning formed unique ring patterns around the volcano, according to Vaisala. According to Vaisala's yearly report, lightning experienced extremes in 2022. More than 198 million lightning strikes were recorded in the US in 2022, which is an increase of 4 million from 2021 and 28 million from 2020. Lightning continues to increase, according to Vargaski. Vaisala's results concerning worldwide lightning and the Hunga volcano are compatible with their own observations, according to the Worldwide Lightning Location Network, another lightning monitoring network run by the University of Washington and unaffiliated with the paper. According to Robert Holtzworth, the network's director, we can accomplish this because the more powerful eruptions produce lightning, and lightning transmits detectable radio signals all over the globe. The Hunger eruption's lightning activity was quite remarkable. Since lightning often indicates rising temperatures, researchers have taken the phenomena as a significant indication of the climate problem. Since lightning requires relatively warm and wet air to form in powerful storms with an unstable atmosphere, it is most common at tropical latitudes and elsewhere in the summer. However, during a devastating lake effect snowstorm in 2022 that dumped more than 30 inches of snow on Buffalo, New York, but piled up historic totals of more than six feet of snow in the nearby suburbs along Lake Erie, Vaisala's National Lightning Detection Network discovered more than 1,100 lightning strokes in the city. Lake effect snow happens when cold air, in this example from the Great Lakes, blows over warm lake water. Even in a snowfall, the tremendous instability in the stratosphere brought on by the enormous temperature differential may result in thunderstorm-like lightning. According to the research, several of these lightning strikes occurred close to wind turbines south of Buffalo, which Vargaski deemed important. The ice crystal-filled clouds were scraping just over the turbine blades, lower to the ground than normal, he added. According to Vargaski, it may result in self-initiated upward lightning. Consequently, lightning happens because an electric charge may easily connect at the wind turbine blade's tip, which is quite near to the cloud's base. According to him, 
Research in this field is underway as the nation switches to more sustainable energy options. We're seeing larger and bigger wind turbines, he said. Lightning is going to play a part in that as we're putting in more and more wind energy and renewable energy. The discovery follows an extraordinary year in 2021 when researchers saw a large spike in lightning strikes in the traditionally frigid Arctic area. Scientists believe this is a glaring indication of how the climate catastrophe is changing the world's weather patterns. According to Michael McCarthy, research associate professor and associate director of the Worldwide Lightning Location Network, lightning in polar regions was not mentioned in this year's Visala report. But our global lightning network shows a trend for much more lightning in the northern polar regions. The observed fluctuations in the average temperature throughout the northern hemisphere are closely followed by that trend. McCarthy said, this tight monitoring indicates, but does not prove, a climate change influence. While emphasising that meteorologists and climatologists have been gathering more data to not only make the climate links evident, but also keep people safe, Vargaski said that lightning is cooler. In cooler locations, would only intensify as the Earth warms. In order to understand where and how much lightning occurs, as well as how thunderstorms are trending in response to changing climates, he added, lightning has been designated as a crucial climatic variable. More facts about the Hunga Tonga volcano eruption that touched space and spawned a lightning blitz. Last year's eruption of the Hunga Tonga, Hunga Harpai volcano in the Pacific Ocean was one for the record books in a number of unexpected ways. A first of its kind observation for an earthly volcano, the eruption on January 15 was so violent that water vapour was propelled into the atmosphere so high that it reached space. The event also created the highest concentration of lightning ever recorded, making it far more spectacular than the Krakatoa eruption in Indonesia in 2018 or the tornado outbreak in the American South in 2021. The eruption also produced an ionosphere disruption that was comparable to a solar geomagnetic storm due to the amount of energy it emitted. These and other eruption superlatives were discussed by seismologists, geophysicists and oceanographers in a press conference on December 12th and in many presentations at the American Geophysical Union's autumn meeting in Chicago. According to astronomer Larry Paxton of the John Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory in Laurel, Maryland, these are once-in-a-lifetime observations. He and his colleagues looked at data from a NASA satellite orbiting the Earth called the Global Ultraviolet Imager. In the far ultraviolet light region of the electromagnetic spectrum on the day of the eruption, according to Paxton, the sensor showed something unusual, a rounded area in the satellite data that coincided with the volcano's position where there was a brief drop in those UV emissions. Below what is commonly thought of as the border of space, or around 100 kilometers above sea level, the equipment cannot detect anything in the atmosphere. According to researchers, this indicates that some kind of released substance, most likely water vapor from the underwater volcano, had traveled far enough into space to momentarily absorb those light particles. In the past, scientists had predicted that the eruption had reached the mesosphere in addition to the stratosphere. The latest discovery implies that the explosion went far higher. In December 2021, the volcano erupted. According to Chris Vargaski, a meteorologist with Vaisala Inc., an environmental instrumentation firm with its headquarters in Vantaar, Finland, the continuing eruption was already one of the most prolific lightning makers on the world by the beginning of January. Using Vaisala's Global Lightning Detection Network, Vargaski and colleagues calculate that there were at least 400,000 lightning strikes at and around the volcano on the day of the major explosion on January 15 alone. This estimate is an order of magnitude higher than what is typically seen in Earth's most potent supercell thunderstorms, according to Vargaski. This was the most severe lightning incident the worldwide network has ever identified. The ionosphere 
a region of the Earth's atmosphere where charged plasma coexists with other atmospheric particles received some of the explosive energy from the volcano. The explosion generated atmospheric pressure waves that travelled into space and moved the plasma. These plasma changes then resonated across the ionosphere and the Earth's magnetic field lines to affect plasma hundreds of kilometres distant. Claire Gask, a space physicist at the University of California, Berkeley, described it as like plucking a guitar string. Gask is the daughter of Macon Morehouse. Science News' news director, Morehouse was not involved in the creation of this piece. The influence of a brief solar geomagnetic storm that started on January 14 was paralleled and in some areas even exceeded by the effect of the volcano's eruption on the ionosphere on January 15. Despite a geomagnetic storm that occurred at the same time, the volcano dominated alterations in ionospheric dynamics. Most people believe that solar impacts are what generates space weather, according to Gask. However, these findings imply that a volcano may be just as powerful. According to the experts, as scientists continue to analyse the data from the huge explosion, the volcano may yet set further records. That's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please, your likes and subscription to our channel is one way we'll know you appreciate what we're doing. Please keep it coming. We'd also like to know about your thoughts and feelings over this incredible volcanic experience. Feel free to drop your comments below in the box provided.